Um, a fantastic one for your team today and I thought you probably deserved it as well. I think we deserved it. I'm slightly biased, obviously, but I, I felt in, at 1-0 we were the better team. I felt they, they just conceded a sloppy goal, obviously, but you still got to be there to put them in the net, so that's, you know, Annan have found a way to get back in the game, but I, I then thought even with 10 men, you know, we we seen off the physical threat that was coming, you know, um, a lot of direct balls and uh, I, I thought we'd, we dealt well with that, but I thought for a young team we showed tremendous maturity in game management at times when, and there was bodies creaking, you know, there was bodies that were hurting there, having covered a lot of ground, and but they found a way to dig in, to organise themselves so that they didn't get too stretched. And then just, I'm proud as punch, and that's on the players because at part time level you don't get the opportunity to work on those kind of things, you know. And so the players showed great intelligence there to work it the way they did, and, and above all, just the quality and ability. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them, and they deserve all the prod, all the plaudits for that. Like the play, it's all about the players there. Dominic got sent off, and you sent on a second striker, so you, you certainly went for it in the last 30 minutes or so. What was the thinking behind that? You know, it, it's funny, I've been asked that often, what would I do, and it, I, think, I think it very much depends on the flow of the game. I felt we were still causing Annan problems before Dom get, get sent off, I felt we were in the ascendancy, slightly. No, we weren't the dominating, but I thought we were the team probing and trying to do that, playing through the lines. Uh, and I just felt going at that point, maybe 4-4-1-1, or 4 4 one, sorry, would have been a statement of we're going to sit in and absorb. And I, did, I, I didn't want to do it, to be honest, not home, not in front of the fans. And especially when you've got somebody like Dylan Mackin, who's a big unit, who can protect the ball, secure possession, and get you up the park. Because the further you are away from goal, the less likely you are to concede. So that was my main thinking behind it. And it, listen, it's worked today, and another day I could have conceded to it, and I'd have been berated. So it, I've got away with one there, but it is what it is. No complaints with the red card? I didn't actually see it. Uh, but Peter, you know, said he put his head in, you know, and now Peter's a good professional, if anything, you know, and, and I, I trust his judgment on that. I'll look at it on the video, if Ben's uh, video's good enough, but, uh, you know, disappointing because Dom was excellent. I've told him that's not acceptable in any way, shape or form, if he has put his head in, and certainly something we'll look at and we'll do away in-house, but it's disappointing for him because he's been outstanding since I came in and again today I thought he was fantastic so I'm disappointed for the kid but he'll learn these are the these are footballing lessons that these young players have to go through and he apologised to his teammates and that and again but they were all around him so good togetherness it's easier when you win a game obviously to get around somebody but nah, no listen it will be dealt with and I'm, I'm sure Dom will learn his lesson. I wonder if Pierre McDonald still still showing his goals even at his age I mean, listen, he scored, he scored two good goals today, but I think he'll know about the work and the legs behind and beside him today. I mean, it was the effort was fantastic to get in touch with him, to play to his strengths as well. You know, Peter's changing. You know, Peter's changed physically, and you, you can't keep doing what you've done as a 22, 23-year-old. So he's changing. He's an intelligent player. He's always been an intelligent player, and he's using that to his strength now. So he's playing in areas where he's effective, and he showed his... Poacher's instincts there, you know, for me, before I came, he was dropping too deep, trying to be a different player. There's nobody better in League 2 putting the ball in the net, giving a chance in Peter McDonald. And I think if we can get him into the box, get him in the right areas, he will finish a high percentage of chances. Four points off the top four, are you certainly motoring, aren't you? Well, uh, we're behind Cowden Beath, who had a great result today, and that's the team I want to catch. Um, I think Elgin are within a point now, as well, so... We've now got a fantastic carrot in front of us, you know, because for, for me, playoffs, so that'll take care of itself. My ambition is to catch the team in front, and has been since I came in, and there was enough in front of us. But again, that's the players, you know, they're, they're using that as a motivation, and fair play them. You know, I've challenged them every week, and they've answered to it. We get turned over at Peterhead, 4-1, my heaviest defeat here. We've won three in the bounce. It's a great mental strength and character, and that, that's on them, you know, so... As I say, they've they've really they've really shown up and, and showed they've pre represented themselves better, you know, in recent weeks, and hopefully that continues. You're quite animated on the sidelines. I noticed during games you seem to kick and live and breathe every ball. Ah, I mean, listen, I've, I've spoke about this, and as long as I'm able with my body to sort of inject energy for the side and present energy, I'll do that because I'm passionate. It gets the better of me at times, I'll admit that, and you know, I need to take some, maybe take the emotion out of games at times, but 
I won't apologise for it. I won't win. I love football. It's my life. It's what I do 24 7. It's all I think about. And I want my boys to win so much. I want them to be rewarded for all the hard work that I see behind, you know, the, the, the Saturday, the big game. So I'm just, that's how I'm going to be until I need to slow down in case <laughs> I fall over. But no, listen, it's. That, that's me, it's my personality, you know, and, and I'm not going to change. Just a final one for me, is it always good to sit down with the fans after a, a victory? Well, this will be my first one, so I'm letting you know, but it certainly makes it a bit easier, you know, to go and sit with them. But, uh, is that another reason why you put two on up front? <laughs> aye, but uh, listen, I'm sure they would appreciate, even if the result didn't go over the, the way today, that the boys have certainly looked like they're buying into what Martin and I are putting across to them, just with effort. Because the ability is there, so it's up to us to keep that momentum going, and it's up to me and Martin to give them direction. They they, they need to then believe it and buy into it. So long may it continue in the run. The run. Just one final one, Kevin. Busy week of signings. Are you pleased with the work you've done, bringing in back Max Ashmore and Jordan McGregor and re-signing Danny Jordan? I think the re-signing ones are probably bigger because these boys have been doing really well and they deserve it, and the fans see they deserve it, so they're aware of where we're coming from as a management team to get them re-signed. I think with Jordan, what you've got, Big Jordan McGregor comes in, Kyle Bannon and Ross McKeeke were outstanding today. Now, I'm not going to preempt anything, but what I would say is when you've got the pressure of somebody coming in in your position, it can bring the best out in you. And I thought today it possibly did. And hopefully to the end of the season now, I've got, I mean, I've got now got two quality centre backs sitting on my bench today, you know, Jason Marr and, and Big Jason McGregor. So the boys know that they're going to be accountable and, you know, they have to sort of. They'll only ever hand me the jersey back. Max Ashmore comes on, and I thought a wee bit chaotic to begin with, but he settled down and he got. It's a difficult situation, ten men, but I thought he'd done great. And listen, that'll be maybe a wee window for him right away to come in and start a game for us. So positive going forward, but are we done in the transfer window? I wouldn't say yes. I wouldn't say no. We might have a wee bit of manoeuvrability, but it will be it will be tight, you know. And it has to be the right player to buy into the ethic.